Hey guys, welcome back to Flo's Kitchen, where love is always the secret ingredient to every dish. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make oxtail in a crock pot. I just want to say thank you to Mike Larry and Shanuka for requesting this. I know it's been a while, um, but I finally have a recipe to share with you guys. All right, guys, so the first thing you want to do, if you've been here before, you know how I love to clean my meat. Lime, lemon, salt, vinegar. All right, so just like you guys see here, I'm making sure I um, clean the lime, clean each piece of um, oxtail with lime, and then I'm rinsing it off. I did put some vinegar off camera, and I'm making sure I rinse everything off until the water runs clear. All right, y'all know how I do it. Y'all know how I does it. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and um, after you've rinsed everything, it's time to season. All right, I know some of you guys is like, what you gonna do with that fat? Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it. Now, if you go to the meat market and they can clean off more of that that fat that's perfect but if they don't that's okay as well whatever you could get off with a knife go ahead and do that if not you can fry it off but today we're not doing all of that because it wasn't that much fat on this at least for me it wasn't so however you like your oxtail to be cut up you want to go ahead and have them cut it up that way if you find a good butcher who will cut off all the skin before weighing it that'll be perfect okay. here this is about three or four pounds of um oxtail not much um so um, you want to go ahead and drop one tablespoon of ev everything. One tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of um, cinnamon, one tablespoon of parsley, one tablespoon of um, pimento, one tablespoon of brown sugar, one tablespoon of paprika. And you want to make sure you put half a tablespoon of um browning yes i know i said it browning you also want to add um half a tablespoon of nutmeg yes nutmeg because it'll change your life honey one tablespoon of um cloves yes and then um you want to also add some cayenne Oh, and also one tablespoon of um, sugar, granulated sugar. So here I am putting some, um, what is this thing called? Some cornstarch. I'm adding one tablespoon of cornstarch because this will help the, um, you know, once it cooks, then it's going to help it have like a nice um, texture as far as um, it won't be watery. Because we're cooking this in a crock pot. And if you guys seen my crock pot videos before, I always teach you guys to put everything at once in the crock pot. So when it comes to like anything that gives your meat color from the tomato paste to the um, browning, you want to add all of that in at once. Um, I'm still having a little sniffles, but I did not test positive for the coronavirus, y'all. I know I made a joke in the last um, video, but your sister is good. I just have the sniffles. It's morning over here in Florida, and I don't know, maybe flu season coming, but I don't know. Anyways, guys, so you want to go ahead and um, stir everything. Make sure all the seasonings is incorporated. Um like let me go back to explaining about the the uh what is this thing called the cornstarch so with the cornstarch the reason why you putting a little cornstarch is because it helps the um it helps the liquid get a little thick so i don't really care to put flour in it i prefer cornstarch cornstarch will make it have a nice thick will make the the juice um a little thicker I hope I explained that um, good enough for you guys to explain, for you guys to understand. So, guys, you're just going to mix, stir, incorporate everything. I did add a tablespoon of tomato paste, all right, for extra coloring. Now you want to cut up your, um, your um, green onions, just like so. 
This will add extra flavor. You want to add some thyme and add some garlic, some fresh garlic in there. Yeah, here's the thyme. A few springs of thyme. And then you mix that up very well, just like you guys can see here. Not hard at all. Very simple. This thing is going to come out so good, guys. And I hope you guys try it and come back and tell me how it is. So now this is the this is the part that um, will really um, set things together. The baby is having a ball. So you want to put like half of the the brown stew um, pack, the brown gravy pack. I know some people are like, what? When? How? Try it. It'll change your life, honey. Okay. So now you want to add about um, one and a half cups in your um, in your crock pot. <sighs> Just like so. You're adding everything in there. You set your crock pot to um, four hours. This is an on-the-go meal. All right, guys? On-the-go meal. All right? Set it for about um, four hours, three hours. Oh, four hours, I'm sorry. Put everything in there, guys. Okay. All right, so now after you put everything, you covered your crock pot after four hours, you see how fall, how this turned out falling off the bone. Now, if you want to add anything extra like carrots or potatoes, you add that. Um, you can either add it cooked or you can add it in there and just let the heat cook it for another hour or so. And that's it. That's how you cook um oxtail in the crock pot i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like comment and share and don't forget to go and check out my book on amazon flows grubhub all right bye be blessed